Welcome everyone. Thanks for stopping by. We've got a little detour from the normal blacksmithing content I have on my channel. Uh, tonight I've got something extra special. So ooh, probably a year, two years ago now I came across this guy named Jay Harmon. He's an inventor from Australia. He came up with this thing he called the Lily Impeller. Now he developed it from a frozen whirlpool, kind of doing some biomimicry stuff, looking at shapes of Mother Nature and replicating that. Um, now I fell in love with the shape, you know, it's got some cool applications. I fell in love with it mainly because of just the organic nature of it, you know, it's the 3D organic shape. It's just something really neat to look at. It's kind of like looking at a seashell. If you've ever opened up one of the little, oh, I think it's a conch shell or some of the larger seashells you can find, they'll look, almost, look very similar on the inside, especially right here at this root and these shapes here. Um, just really fun shape to look at, watch, play with. Um, if you look at it, it is based on a spiral. In this case, a logarithmic spiral. Something like the Fibonacci sequence, something you know we hear, learn about in our grade school days. Um, focus. So you can see the spiral developed. Here we've got actually two spirals interlaid, or two flutes, if you will. Um, really actually looks like the symbol they use on the weather channel for hurricanes you've got the eye here and then the two spiral arms branching out in this case i just take them much further out and they open up a little bit now you know like i said jay developed his from a frozen whirlpool um, did a lot of research reverse engineering a lot of cool stuff um, really perfected the shape mine i, I didn't bother so much with that I found a couple Archimedic or Archimedean spiral equations, put them, plugged them into SolidWorks, got a basic spiral, just kind of approximated and made some guesses, educated guesses, and got this shape. And overall, I'm really happy with the turn, how it turned out. The computer-aided drawing systems I used SolidWorks or computer-aided drafting really don't lend themselves to organic shapes like this. Two-dimensional, they're great. Um, 3D shapes there, also really great, but this is really kind of an organic shape. This is, you know, nothing's, except for this end I cut off here, there's nothing flat or, you know, really 2D about this. It's kind of a complex shape, something tricky to draw, so kind of a challenge to see if I could do it, too. It was fun. It was fun working on this, developing this shape. Um, so, yeah, so I'm happy how it came out. Decided, well, I've got to draw, might as well 3D print it, so I did some ABS 3D printing. Um, not on a homemade machine. I work for universities and we've got quite a, an engineering university at that, so we've got quite a few 3D printers. So I had, uh, had it printed out. It cost a few bucks, but it was worth it. Yeah, so I really like the shape. It doesn't move a whole lot of air, but what Jay really advocates using these for are uh, for mixing large masses or large quantities of water, especially like in water towers. You think about all that water sitting there. Um, go stagnant. Like if you ever leave a glass of water overnight and drink it and take a drink from the next morning, it'll be kind of stale, kind of have a funky taste to it. So same concept applies to those large water towers. And that's where Jay, I think, has found a lot of application for this particular impeller. He's got different variations on this for different things, different applications. Um, so here on the end, I've got a hole. The model came with an undersized hole. I reamed it out to fit a shaft, or fit an arbor. That's attached to a drill. So, again, shaft's on the drill. The impeller goes on the end of the arbor, or the shaft. I'll slide it on there. And you know, being plastic, the hole's kind of a tight fit, and it'll it'll hold itself and it'll spin just fine. So I'm gonna turn the drill on low, pardon the hand. Let's give it a spin. So there, that's going what I would call forward. It would actually be raising or moving water up in this direction. They're actually designed to work. Well, they can run either way, really. But again, it's just a. Almost a beautiful, really a beautiful organic shape to watch move. Now how it kind of spirals, fans out, almost has a flow. Really does have kind of a flow developed to it. Just even here out of water, out of water, watching it spin. 
So I'll reposition, stick this thing in some water, and we'll see what it really does. Okay, so repositioned here. I've got a five-gallon bucket of water. Normally this thing would be would be useful for a really a large quantity of water, probably at least you know a big 30-gallon trash can or something. I don't have one of those, so I eh, improvise. A little block down at the bottom, kind of pointing to, that's just for us to just point it in on, just to give it some support. So the water's kind of calm, we'll stick it in there, find the little notch I have. You see the water's already starting to spin, already creating that vortex, developing that basic shape. Yeah, we're not talking huge RPMs here. I mean, it's not moving spinning ridiculously fast or anything. And yeah, it's already got start developed a nice vortex here. Wow, that's impressive. You can kind of see there, pull it up out towards the top. That's where you can see the vortex or that spiral flow going on there. So anyway, what, let me reposition. Let me get closer to the water. Okay, we'll see how this works. We'll find that notch again. Kick it on high real quick just to see what it does. You can see it definitely has a vortex there. So I'm also gonna I'll kick it and run forward, see what it does. That's what it does pretty decent that way too. I mean, it makes sense. It should run either way. It's a decent upwelling. Whoop. Stand by for technical difficulties. All right, we're reseated. Okay. Or not. All right, we're good to go again. All right, great, it's a pretty, pretty impressive upwelling actually. I can, actually, I think it actually is either a suction or um, oh, the, the opposite of suction push, whatever that is. Actually, it looks like it'd be a pretty great aerator, too. It's a pretty impressive job of lifting water. What happens if we tilt it on its side? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Not so cool that way, but this way, yeah, definitely does an impressive job of lifting water. I don't know, there might be something to this shape. I'm pretty impressed with just how it acts in the water in this little bit anyway. Yeah, pretty cool. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, again, not mine, Jay Harmon's the original guy. He gets all the credit for the all the hard work. I just did this more of an academic exercise, something fun to play with. But thanks for watching. <laughs>